I am Cat Wits. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go ahead and answer a question that has been asked quite a few times. What are my favorite Bibles that I have used throughout this year? Um, I have used a lot, a lot of the times, mainly because of the platform that I had. So once you see all my Bibles, please do not compare your um, my stack to your stack. Please don't look at what I'm doing and say, oh, well, I feel like I'm not doing enough. It's it's everyone's spiritual walk is different. And I didn't use all of these Bibles all year long. These are just my go-to Bibles that I'm drawn to for certain reasons at certain times. But these have all been used, sprinkled throughout the whole year. Some have been used only six months. So either at the beginning of the year and I go, I went ahead and retired them. And then some I'm using for the um, last six um, months out of the year. Or possibly even three months. There's two Bibles here. I've only touched three months out of the year. So, okay. Do not compare yourself. Okay? Do not. That's why I don't like making these videos because I know you all do it. <laughs> don't do it. I am a Bible reviewer. So I have my hands on a lot of Bibles. Um, if I don't keep them... For this channel, I always donate them to my sisters and people who I know need them. So that's something else. Okay, so jumping on in. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I was going to do from like the first of the year. What Bibles was I using at the first of the year and to now. But no particular order. I can't figure out how a good way of doing this. I'm just going to go ahead and show them. So this one you all will recognize really 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 easy this is my little cuddle bible this is the csb camouflage little cameo so this is from church bible publishers and as you can tell i have really loved this one i blew it up this one however was not my first one this is i think my second or third one i don't remember which i think this might have been my third one to be honest this what right here was my first one. And I'll do a quick little peek through all of them. I'm not going to do walk through through any of them. Flip through. If I don't already have a flip through on my channel, go ahead and ask for it. And then I'll come back and do it. But um, this one, I just went ahead and marked, obviously, all the scriptures that had stood out to me. Let me see. Where's a good... Oh, I missed a couple. So I read my Bible cover to cover every single year. If I get done with it, I'm going to come right back and read it. So throughout the whole Bible, I have my notes and then I have different highlights. So it's something like that. The next page also has something. And I'm wanting to go ahead and put all my notes in one Bible. I'm curious to see what that will look like. Okay, so that is the first one, and then this will be my second one. I'll again, do a quick little flip through. This is my cuddle Bible for the beginning of the year. I really, 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 really love this Bible. If any of you have been following me for, I guess, since March, you would know exactly why I call this my cuddle Bible. Okay. So those are obviously my favorite. Um, one of my just normal, I don't really want to call it a study Bible because it's not really a study Bible. I don't know what category this will fit in because it's not a devotional. This is a very unique Bible. I mean, oh, love, love, love this Bible. I actually have a playlist over this Bible. So this is the NIV and this is the Life Hacks. There we go. Life Hacks Bible. And that's exactly what it is. So this is my second copy. Yes, I love this Bible so much. I had one of my sweet, amazing sisters gifted me another one so I can start it all over again. So in this one, you're going to have sprinkled throughout the whole Bible these little, like it says, life hacks. Let me show you the table of contents. Just in case you're new here and you've never seen this Bible, never heard of it, it's not talked about. 
I don't understand why, but look at these. So look at the titles. Look how helpful these titles are. These are the habits it's going to go over. I mean, that's a lot of good stuff. And then right where they're located at, it like it correlates with scripture. So look right here, this one, they teach you how to create a faith building um, journal. There's so much stuff. It's, it's an amazing. So this one, I always get up out, especially when, um, one, I want something different because a lot of these Bibles I use, they, they start to look the same. There's just, just the word of God. And sometimes I like, I like something different, not necessarily like I would want a study Bible, but I, I want to look at something different. This is another one I have been drawn to. This is the H. So it is HCSB and it's the Holman and it's just a little, a little cute, uh, study Bible. And I've been drawn to this, like when I'm upstairs, I just want to relax, but I do want something more. So some more information. So say I'm just reading, doing my daily reading, nightly reading, whatever time of day it is. I want to come down and just grab, um, uh, some help for information, colorful pictures, love the colorful pictures, and the size. I really, really like the size. The size is really, really cute. So, I have that one. Every Bible that I share, I do have a review over. So, make sure you check out my playlist. There, I have reviewed them. Now, I only use the big, large print one. The large print one, I really found super easy i don't have to struggle with it but because it's such a big bible i like sharing the little one on camera so <laughs> this is the life application study bible if you all do not have one of these bibles in your collection i highly recommend you purchasing one the study notes in here it is a study bible so the study notes in here it's geared towards applying scripture a lot of the times um, any season of Christians. So rather you're just a new beginner, rather you've been in the word for 20, 30 years. A lot of people struggle with connecting to the scripture, but let alone learning how to actually apply it. This tells you how to apply it. It actually gets your wheels turning for when you're in like a different Bible, you start to remember these um, questions and viewpoints of love. Highly recommend. The only thing I don't like about this, it's in black and white. I wish they would come out with a colored one because, yeah, that would never leave my side. But I, I still use it. I use it uh, at least two, three times a week. The large print one. The second one I'm going to go ahead and show. This is my PSQ, and this is in the mahogany. This is in the New King James this one I have read through two different times this year. So my last reading was in, in August and I read through like in 30 days. So I did a 30 day reading. So I'll, I'll do that sometimes and I'll pick out a Bible, either a different translation. That's typically what it is, a different translation and a different format. My last 30 day reading was a single column. This is a double column and it was in a different translation. So I didn't do no marking, nothing like that. It's literally just reading God's word. All right. So I definitely use that. Another one I love to go to when I want, um, like a heart hug, when I want when I want, yeah, a heart hug from God, when I want to feel him speaking to me, I love going to my Thrive Bible. I know sometimes people are like, what are you saying, cat? There you go. Thrive, literally Thrive Bible. Highly, highly recommend this for every, every age of um, student. So... If you don't know about these, please check out my playlist, my review over this Bible. This Bible is amazing. They have multiple. Um, before, it was just the one. You could only get the one Bible. It had like a cloth um, overcover. It just, it wasn't really good. Now they've changed all that. 
They've added multiple colors. This one right here is in the rose gold. So beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. I, I just protect it. As you can tell, look at my kitties. So I protect it. So um, this one will have prayers. Prayers that you are praying. So if you're actually coming to God, you know, you're, you're his daughter. So you have to pray out to God. And then his response so this is his love this is actual love letter from god love that they have like a reflection no i worded that wrong i'm sorry not an actual love letter from god but this could be this could be how you know it, it's a helpful tool use this as a tool this isn't comparable to scripture this is the actual love letter to god okay so just just verifying that <laughs> Um, so we have a reflection over here and then we have a truth. So this Bible is amazing. They do also have a wide margin of one of these Bibles. So I also have a wide margin. They sprinkle these treasures of truth. Yeah, just one another amazing Bible that I pull out. I find myself being drawn to when I want something a little extra. This was a gift towards... This was last Christmas. There you go. Last Christmas gift from my amazing husband. So I used this at the beginning of the year. Again, this is the PSQ. And this is in the new King James. I love the King James translation. This one I have been marking up. So sprinkled out through out the whole. I did a lot of in Deuteronomy. But look at this. I guess a lot at the beginning. I didn't know I did so much at the beginning. And it all just wants to clamp together. That's just how things work. So I have a lot of notes. Um, things I want to remember. So I really enjoyed this. Right here is it in February. It's at the beginning of the month. Or at the beginning of the year. I'm sorry. There we go. I keep in like receipts. We went to a restaurant. I kept that memory in here. That's the book of the Bible I was reading at the time I went to the restaurant. Did a couple little doodles. All right. So I don't have anything in the back because I wasn't. Well, there's one. But that was like a random. I think I was reading from another Bible and I just I put it in this Bible because I loved it so much. So um, I forget where I was going with that. Oh, yeah. And my travel log. All of my Bibles that are small and I take on the go will have a travel log with me. So that's at the beginning of the year. Right after that one, I had this one. So it's the new international. There we go. Oh, okay. And this one, the way I marked up this one, I'm just using gold. And then later on throughout the Bible, I added pink. So it's be pink for myself, gold for um, when God's speaking. You'll see. I'm not going to do, like I said, a real big deep study or flip through. If you want to flip through over something, just let me know and I'll show you. There we go. There's where the pink comes in. So typically when there's a pink, it's for me. And then I use the gold to emphasize God. I just love that page. Okay. So there's that one. <clears throat> I love the PSQ style, you guys. The PSQ size. Not just style. That's the size of that Bible. All right, this was another one at the beginning. This is the Sword Study Bible, and this is in the personal size. So with this one, I did get it rebound, and I got it rebound by Cherry Hill. So what's so amazing about this one is at the very beginning, in the book of Genesis, you will get red letter. So whenever God is speaking, it is in red letter. 
Typically, a Bible will have red letter only in the New Testament. This is in the Old Testament red letter. So I really, 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 really love this Bible. And again, I sprinkle throughout the whole year with this Bible. I used it a lot at the beginning, but then again, throughout, like I said, the whole year, I came back to it. So that one gets a lot of love. Okay, this is in one of the newest ones. All right, I'll show this one later. Okay, something that I do like to do, again, this is not for everybody. This is for me and the collection that I have. I try to use the collection that I have. I don't like any of my Bibles sitting in my um, like bookshelf on my desk. I don't like them sitting. I like them to get use. And if I don't use them, I pass them along. Okay, so this is the RSV. So it's the Revised Standard Version. It's the Skylar. This one is in the full yap. This is in the non-full yap. These are both the exact same Bible, just different colors. This is in the goat skin. This is in the mahogany calf skin. All right, so what I did with this one right here is I'm keeping the text block. I don't know why my phone just washed it out. I'm keeping the text block nice and clean. So this will be the daily, um, daily driver which is a daily reader. I only come here to read. Now, if while I'm reading something sparks and I do like a verse, I want to go ahead and underline it. I will come to the mahogany one. And the reason why I chose the mahogany one is this was like a discounted Bible because listen to this. All right. Now listen to this. That's horrible, horrible binding. So, because the binding is so annoying and when you're reading, it's just, I don't, I, I, yeah. I was not going to make this a daily driver. So the nice one is my daily driver and I'm going to use the kind of discounted beat up one <laughs> as my workhorse. So I'm going to use, as you can tell, all of my markings. So. It is kind of cumbersome to have both Bibles, but then again, it's not. I mean, if you're at home, why does it bug you if you have multiple Bibles? Sometimes I'll be sitting at the desk and I'll have four or five Bibles opened up. Sometimes I don't even have enough room for the amount of Bibles that I have. So I'll read from here, find something I want to mark. I'll come over here and mark it up. Okay. Okay. So I do love this set. I've used it again, sprinkled throughout the year. Not every day I'm in it. I do like the translation too. That translation is beautiful. Now this was definitely at the beginning of the year, the first six, um, six to eight months. I think, yeah, six to eight months I've been in this Bible right here. So this is the humble lamb. This is the shepherd. Once their lion came out, the pink lion, that's when I, I went ahead and put this one in the box. Because I believe it's, it's pretty much finished. It's not. I could still do a lot more highlighting and marking in it. But, all right. So this one, it was my daily reader and I highlighted. But I only did, because I'm cat, I like matching my highlights with the Bible. So I did yellow and black highlighting. Let's come over here. I got to add that. That's just sticking in there. It may not even go in there because I don't know why I did that. Oh, and another thing that I did is I colored. I would color these pictures, but I'll make one thing like stick out. So here's another one. So I didn't color the full picture. I'm only picking out whatever the scripture, like right here, it's only talking about Rebecca. So I colored just Rebecca. And over here, it was talking about wrestling with the angel. So I just colored like the back of it. So yeah, that was something else I did. I will, I probably will continue doing that because I, I like that. That's I like color in my Bibles. 
All right, I did a lot of highlighting and Psalms. I can't do a flip through of up and all, but you, many of you have seen a lot of this. So again, if you haven't, I'll do another flip through if you like, but the humble lamb shepherd has been another one. This has been another fave. This is the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. So this is one from CBP. This is in the black licorice um, water buffalo with a full yap. Love this Bible. So I come here oh, one to two times a week. Sometimes not every week. So there may be one or two weeks I don't even touch it. But I'm typically always in this Bible. If I have any questions, any study Bible that I want to pull out, I will pull this one out first. So this one will come out and then the Life Application Study Bible. But this one I am going through and I will continue as many years as I need to um, to mark up every, not every verse. There are certain themes that I'm marking up in this verse. So that's that. So the Thompson chain gets a lot of love. All right, the other study Bible that I really, really, really love to go through. Um, this one, I don't really go as, I don't pull it out as much, but when I want something special, again, this is geared towards only women. So when you want that one little special heart hug Bible, this is it for me. This is the Christian Standard, so it's the CSB Women's Study Bible. And as you can tell, look at the color. Look at those flowers. Look at the flowers on the cover. I mean, it just calls to me. And then I added pink to the gilding. So when you open it, it's just like, oh, it sings to you. So what's so amazing about this one right here, I'll go ahead and leave it here. Um, not only is it in the two column format, which I really, really, really love, it has study notes at the bottom. It has study notes, there's word studies, um, there's all different kinds of stuff. There's charts. They have these hard questions that you'll get. I don't know if there's one through here, but they get these hard questions and everything. They got doctrine, they have articles. I have a full review over this, but the study notes at the bottom, it's geared towards women, 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 women. And at the 66 int um, introductions, book introductions, it tells you why should women read this book? So love, 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 love this Bible. I'm always grabbing for it. Alrighty then. Um, the next one I will go ahead and show is the other workhorse. This one, I think it was last year. I've got this one last year. Yeah, 21. So I got this one last year, but I, I've, I didn't really mark too much. I didn't mark it in because it was so new. Um, but I'm doing more. I'm doing more this year with it. Which that's kind of how it, it gets. You're, it's a new Bible. You don't want to mark it in too much. You don't want to uh, do too much to it. But once it's used, it's broken in, then you're like, okay, now I'm really going to enjoy this one. So the one journey I am taking, and it's this year's journey, I'm going through and marking in with the red underline The um, when Jesus speaks. So when God speaks, yeah, it's getting a red underline in the Old Testament. So I'm using the Sword Study Bible with an aid and helping me do that. So that's one thing that I'm doing, but I, I've went throughout the whole, whole Bible. I've read it already two, three different times. I've marked through it some pages more than others. I love my study notes or my study notes, my posty notes. As you can tell, the margin space in these Bibles, it's amazing. I mean, look at the gutter space, even the gutter space. I'm able to write like two, three. I can probably fit even another line below. You could pops, but three, three lines comfortably. Sorry about that. Let me give you a closer look. Three lines comfortably writing, and that's in the gutter. So the quintels are amazing. The font size is amazing. 
Sometimes I will not use this as a reader because if I'm doing like a daily read, the words are too big for me. I like a smaller font size because it helps me go through a little bit faster. But for like a study, having the bigger font, it doesn't strain your eyes. It's just, yeah, really, really, really love another one of those receipts. I like sprinkling them out throughout my Bible. Just for memories too, my kids, if the receipt lasts, <laughs> my kids will be able to see it. Uh, I, I'm, no, I'm, looks like none of this is marked up, but it is. Oh, but okay, yeah, it, again, with the same thing. There it is. There's, okay, so we'll do a flip through. I'm trying to show you all, but I don't want to do a full flip through. It's not the point of the video. My Caxton, this is the NLT. This is the only premium NLT I have in my collection. I'll get more eventually, but this is the only one I have. And I love it. For one, I love the size. It is very, very comparable to the PSQ, but it's a chunky monkey. And anyone who knows me knows I love those thicker Bibles. They are my favorite. So this one I got back in July of 21. And I've done a multiple reading through this Bible. Here's the first reading. So thir oh, a 30 day reading. I've done only one 30 day reading, but I've read it multiple times, not 30 days. All right. And at the beginning, I was starting to go through every single verse and going through every single reference that can be a fun study but it can be a very overwhelming study too so i can only do that sometimes when i'm in the mood for it just like the thompson chain there's just some days you just can't really go that deep i went ahead and marked up prayers so sprinkled throughout the whole bible you'll see prayers this is, looks really dark. It looks like it will bleed through on the 28 GSM paper, but it does not. It's really amazing paper. I know sometimes it looks like the paper will wrinkle. It will unwrinkle. Uh, it all depends on the like air, your humidity and stuff like that. Um, There's another one. So yeah, really used and love this guy too some of the New Testament. Okay, now I'm going to show you a full flip through. I do have a travelogue also in the back of this Bible. All right. Another one that I like going through is the Battlefield of the Mind. Oh, this has been one favorite, favorite since I was gifted the first one. So an amazing sister gifted me one back at the beginning of my journey, back in 2018, 19. So super, super, super early. And I used that. I had a whole playlist over the pink one. I blew it up. I still have it. It's just packed up because it's done. So I did get another one just so I could start another journey. I went ahead and added more ribbons. I think it only comes with one ribbon. And the other one was pink, so I got the blue one. This is 2020. I don't remember using it at all in 21, but I could have. But with, with this one is I'm trying to keep it clean. I will still mark in it. There is still markings, um, but I'm trying just to clean, keep this one clean and not so used and loved like my other one my other one i really 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 loved it so i'm trying just to you know mark i will really mark up the devotionals the prayers and stuff like that but i want to be able to come back and read the bible multiple times when it's nice and marked up it's it's difficult to do it's still doable because you can still read through the stuff but just the distraction for me when I use and blow up a Bible, I typically, that's it. I have so many in my collection, I don't, I don't continue to go back to it. Unless I'm drawn to it. So, this is one I just like to sit back, read, 
and just enjoy a good read, have prayers. Now, I a lot of people think because I share this Bible that I'm like a, a fan of Joyce Myers. No, that's not the case. I love the Bible. I with Joyce Myers, I I wish she wouldn't put so much negativity like out in her stuff. And a lot of in these devotions at the beginning, they were perfect for me. I loved them. I need that. But I grow. I transform as we all should be doing on our walk. We should never stay stale. We should never be using the same tools, uh, reading the same stuff, feeling the same way. We need to show growth. So a part of my growth is I do not like reading about someone else's negative uh, family issues. I, I don't I don't like that. Because it starts making my own personal things come out and my own personal feelings. And when, I, when, that, when that happens, I cut that off super fast. I don't like going down that. It's not necessary. That's Satan's way to keep us down. So we have to be able to catch it and to stop it. This, the Abide Study Bible, you all. If you do not have this Bible, like I keep saying in most, with most of my Bibles, you have to. You have to have this Bible in your collection. This is a an amazing Bible. I wish they also had it um, in different bindings. I wish it was avail available like that. But if I ever want to get it, I can get it rebound. So this one comes with pictures. If you are one, if you want to become a student, there we go. If you want to become a student of the word, this is the perfect Bible for you. So if you see, I want to get one with two of them. All right, so right here, no, not all. Well, this is part of it. Okay, so right here, you have the scripture to go over. This is journal. This is what you're actually going to write about. You can either write it on a post-it note, place it in here. You can have a journal on the side and keep it with your Bible. But you're going to write. You're going to reflect, and they have questions. That is amazing. A lot of the time, people will come, old or new student, and it does not matter. They'll come to the Word, and they're clueless. They're like, that's somebody else. That's an old, old book for one. That's somebody else's story. So say we're talking about um, uh, Jacob being sold from his, you know, from his brothers. How are you supposed to relate to that in today? Like it's how, how do you do it? This right here tells you, tells you exactly how to do it. It tells you what to think about. And it actually puts you in, in that state of mind of thinking. We have meditating. We have praying. We have contemplating. So many amazing things that you just, you will not know unless you have this Bible. Unless you're a big, big time preacher and sometimes even preachers struggle with, how am I supposed to relate to this? They need other commentary. They need other help. This Bible, trust me, I've never heard of someone owning this Bible and saying something bad about it. It is so helpful. So we have praying the scriptures. You've seen that picture. There's pictures. There's charts. There's so much. I mean, I can't. I can't give. And then look at the the margin space. Like the margin space is amazing. You, I show here. You can actually write. So you can answer your question right here. You can do underline. You can do posty notes. So I really haven't marked up. I will be also using this Bible to mark through um, this year. My sweet sister, Sherry, this is going to be her Bible for the year. So I'm sending her this Bible for Christmas because she needs that. Everyone needs that in, in their collection. All right. So for another one, let's see. What was the other one that's last? Am I through here right now? Yay! Okay. So for my next Humble Lamb of Bible, after my yellow one, as soon as this pink one came out in October, I have not put this Bible down. I mean, it's a pink. It's a premium. So it's the best of the best leather uh, quality material. This is the lion. Unlike the other one, it was the shepherd. So this has a, let me show you here. Oh, let's get to the Bible. 
it has a two column format which i am a huge huge fan of it has marginal space so you can um, put your notes you can use posty notes look at the words like these are huge it's like it's definitely like a 10 11 i think it's an 11 but if you're going to circle marking oh perfect 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 love 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 this bible not only do you have pink um, cover you have pink gilding too so yes this bible will continue to go along my journey for uh the next year i love this bible so much my sweet sister sonia also purchased the same thing so we both have the same bible she wanted me to go ahead and grow um my bible garden so how i do my bible gardens she wanted me to do it in her bible too so she got all the goodies and I went ahead and created a Bible for her, like her own little Bible garden. I have my little signature right here, my little kitties. It's homemade and made with love, little tags here. I gave her extra little empty boxes so she could put in her favorite quotes, um, prayers, whatever speaks to her. There's a Bible garden. And of course, you have to have a bunch of butterflies. So she was definitely going to get a page full of them because this just makes you smile. She also had to get multiple. I'm going at her request. Her request. This is so cute. I'm going to put a little piece, a couple of pieces of Desari's hair because that's the first kitty that she's seen in my videos and put it in there for her so she can have a little piece of Desari. And then I'll keep like a little note here for her. So I'll give her a little um, dashboard. So she can use a little dashboard in her um, Bible. Has a little prayer to her and then some extra posty notes. So different things she can do. And then throughout, I sprinkle throughout like my favorite verses, my life verses, whatever verses stick out to me. Um, I've given her some cards she can use. Uh, whatever verses stick out to me that I really, really like and I think will be helpful to, for her, I went ahead and put them in my Bible or her Bible. There's some prayers for her. It's just, this is one first sister. Like, we're definitely calling it a sister Bible. She had a cute name for it. It's just, it's drawing a blank for me right now. But it's like a post, you know, like we can't sit down and do a study, a study Bible together like a, a study group yeah there we go we can't do a study group together so this is the closest thing that we can do i can go ahead and mark up my favorite write down my thoughts my prayers um i'm not doing a lot because obviously this is her bible this is for her study but i am putting a couple of you know my favorites in here also there's psalms 34 i really like in psalms 35 and then I write and explain a little bit of why I like it. And this is all. She's okay with this. This is something that she wanted. She's not giving me a certain like date like, hey, cat, have it done by this day. It's however long it takes. So whenever I feel like, okay, that's all the information I want you to have, all the prayers and love. It's yeah, that's it. Another one of my gardens, another garden. It's just something that she can just come to and just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how else, how else to explain it. I hope it is really, I know, I know it's going to bless her. So this one, I love this one. I have this same page in both of our Bibles. A lot of this, a lot of the same thing. I try to do that too. I want it to be the same in both of our Bibles. So when she's looking at it, she could be like, oh, this is the same as cats. It's kind of different, but it's kind of, you know, the same. So it's pray without ceasing. You all should do the same thing. Pray without ceasing and then just mark out the verse. Oh, phone. And then write it out in different hand lettering. And that's 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Really, really, really easy. It's really easy, but it has a huge impact. And then in the back, I have a list over here. She can keep track of, again, whatever she wants, uh, how many times she read the Bible, quotes, 
She has all of her sisters with her throughout the week. We're with her, praying over her. Um, I kept a blank page so she can decorate it however she wanted to. And then another Bible garden. These are leaves out of my own backyard. So she has a little bit of me and, of course, butterflies with her. She's in Australia. So from Ohio to Australia, I just, I think that would be a cute touch. So that's what I've been doing in my humble lamb Bible. Uh, last one but not least is my ESV NC1. Oh, NC2. So this is a capskin. This one was a gift from in April from my sweet, amazing husband. Yeah, of this year. This one I have loved. I have enjoyed the oh, the double column. I'm trying to show you the beginning here. The double column. Love the double column. The marginal space. There's just so much. And I will continue to use it because I want to use all of the marginal space. So for as long as I can use the marginal space, that's how long I'll continue to mark in this Bible. All right. For the season. So, for Christmas time, this is a gift from one of my sweet, amazing sisters, Jenny. Green. It kind of matches with the theme here. So, green and red. Look at that red. Right there. She, get, she gifted it to me last Christmas. So, for this Christmas, I'm definitely using it. It has the green gilding. I've added the green gilding. It did not come with green gilding. I definitely did that. And I'm marking it with green and red. I'm keeping with the theme of the Bible. So um, basically this is a daily reader. I only mark special uh, verses. So I'll read through it. If something real special pops up, I'll, I'll mark it. But this isn't like a workhorse. This is just sit down. It's a comfort Bible. So kind of like a big cuddle Bible. So that, yeah, that's what this one is. Every time I, I look at it, it reminds me of my amazing sister. Just, oh, I love it. So I use this one towards the end of the year because of how it looks, how amazing it looks. So this is, this will be the last one to wrap it up. This is the last study Bible. <sighs> Getting out of breath here. All right. So this is the English standard version. And this is the personal size study Bible. This one has been rebound and done, as you can tell, by Alan. And my Logan had put his little signature all along the side of the spine. So if you've been watching it, watching me, this channel for any distance, any amount of time, you will know why and how that happened. But this one right here, this is a personal size study Bible, as I mentioned. And I have never really went through and marked up a study Bible, so I'm doing it in this one. I've read it to, through uh, two times already, but I'm actually, I'm going to go back and just mark up the verses, mark up the study notes. I'm really going to soak it up. Um, I've done not a lot in it because obviously there's just a ton of work in other Bibles that I've been doing. But I, I do come here every now and then, especially if there's a verse that pops up, I want to mark, I'll go ahead and do it. But I come through this one just to uh, get the very meaty, very meaty and wordy study notes. I like the color, so that's what I do. Oh, I do have another one. One more I forgot all about. Okay, so really quick. This cover reminded me of my favorite one that I've been using. So look how dirty this cover is. This is the goat skin, obviously, from Crossway. I have scrubbed and scrubbed this cover to try to get this white stuff off. I know the oils from goat skin, it will come through and make some kind of like little bubbly, just leave white marks, but I've never seen it this bad. So if you know how to clean that, please let me know. I, I want to get a Bible cover. But this is the Heritage. I love, again, this Bible. Um, I've read it through a few times, but now I'm going through and just enjoying the margin. I kept seeing this beautiful margin space. I mean, you can tell here. Like when, when you read, you just see all that space. So it kept calling to me. I'm like, 
what am I going to do? So I do have a full video where I share and explain. I'm trying to get through this page. How and what I'm writing in the margins. So this has been another, another one that I've used and I am continuing to use throughout the whole year. Last Bible. I have been working on this Bible for since 2018, December of 2018, so basically 2019. What I'm doing in this one, again, I have a whole playlist. This is a Bible I'm leaving for my children. I am writing out the full Bible, word for word, book by book. I have finished. I have a playlist, so if you want any tips, any tricks that I have learned, I have a whole playlist sharing all of that. How do I write this um, straight? How do I keep everything so tiny? I walk you through all of that. So I just finished the book of Lamentations. And I am kind of dreading going through the next book because it's so big. But hey, I just finished uh, Isaiah and Jeremiah. It's no bigger than that one. So... <laughs> These big books, Ezekiel, it has like 30, 40, has like 40 chapters. Jeremiah had 66 chapters, so they won't be too bad. But look how much I've already finished. So many hours. I only got this much left. So I am obviously not going to finish this year because this year is almost up. But I, I, I'm going to get through it. I'm not going to be discouraged. I'm going to get through it. It will be done all in the Lord's timing. Okay, I hope this video was enjoyable. Um, hopefully it answered the sister's question that asked about seeing my favorites. I don't have just a few favorites. It's nearly impossible for me to uh, guide you to only a few. Um, favorite study Bibles, CSB, the, the Thompson Chain, the Thompson Chain, the Woman's Study Bible, the Abide Bible, the Life Application Study Bible, those are my go-to must. Where is my CBP? Where did it go? I put it somewhere out of the way. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, the Thompson Chain Reference, the Abide Study Bible, um, the CBP and the Life Application, the CSB, Woman Study Bible, the CBP, Thompson Chain Reference, the Bible Bible, and the ESV Study Bible. I believe every person should have these. If you're a man, you don't need the woman's, obviously, but the other ones in your collection. Those are a must-have. As for the other Bibles, it really all depends on, on what you like, what size Bible you like, what kind of paper you like. Um... I didn't even show you my most recent little, little guy. This is my most recent CB, uh, <laughs> my most recent PSQ. So this one, oh, I have not put down since I have received it. I have marked so many pages. Um, like I was saying about the wrinkly pages, when you mark them, look at this one. This one has like, it has a little bit of wrinkling. But it has a lot to do with the air. So how much moisture is in the air. Once it's closed and it lays down for a little bit, it, it does kind of flatten out. Like you could see the wrinkling. But it is on 28 GSM paper. So it is what it is. I, I don't mind it. That doesn't bug me. I know it bugs a lot of people. I don't mind it. And I love the full yap. Look at the full yap on this tiny itty bitty Bible. I mean, it's adorable. I did do the ribbons myself, as you could tell with a lot of my Bibles. The ribbons are changed. Okay, so I think that's it. Those those are my favorite. I like the PSQs. A lot of people don't. They like the full size. I like the full size to mark in and to work in, but I don't like to read from them. So it all depends. Everyone's different. So until you find your own path in your own way, you will have to do a little bit of just trying everything out, trying here and there. But okay, that is it. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. I will talk to you all later. Bye.